بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أهلا وسهلا بكم مرحبا My name is Dr. Imran Hamza Alawiye and I'm the author of the Gateway to Arabic series. Now in this video I want to go through the Arabic letters, Arabic alphabet with you using this flashcard series. This is the uh, Gateway to Arabic alphabet flashcard and it has in it 64 double-sided cards and it's designed to support the, um, the, the book one of the Gateway to Arabic as well as the book one of the Key to Arabic together with uh, uh, part one of the Arabic from the beginning. Uh, you can buy this uh, flashcard set uh, from our website Gateway to Arabic dot com www dot to arabic dot com now let's start going through the alphabet card by card the first of course is alif alif is very simple to pronounce um, you have this hamza as well the hamza has no sound of its own when you use whatever wherever you see hamza all you need to do is just go for the vowel that he's carrying. If it's carrying like this, fatha, which is as sound, simply just say ah. So there is no a particular sound. Just say ah, simple ah. So alif, that's the name of the letter. And then you look at the vowel and you pronounce it. That is alif. Now the next is ba. Ba is also very simple to pronounce. Ba, simple b, ba. Ba. And the shape, obviously, you're writing from right to left. Later on, I shall write on board for you uh, how to formulate your your letters. Now, this is ba. You, you see the like a boat, like a boat shape, and it has dot one dot below. That's a ba. Now, the ba. When it's written a join form, let me show you at the back of each letter, you have the join form of the letter. In this case, this is ba. So that's a ba at the beginning. It's about to join in the middle. And now it's joined at the end. And the result is this. So that is how you join your letter ba. Now, the alif that we did uh, 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 first, you can see alif is one of the six letters that cannot be extended forward uh, those letters are alif dal dal ra zayn and wow so you can see that you cannot extend the alif forward but if a letter is coming from behind that letter can join can hook with it but the alif itself cannot be extended now the next letter letter number three is ta ta is the same shape as ba but with two two let two, two, two dots above that's the letter ta and there's another ta which we call ta marbuta tied up ta this is ta maftuha tied up ta particularly when you start learning grammar is one of the important sign to say that this word is feminine in Arabic. So it's called ta marbuta. But it's still nevertheless is ta. So ta maftuha and ta marbuta. Now when you join your letters, you join just like we did with the letter ba, except that we have of course two dots above. That's a ta at the beginning, ta at the middle, ta at the end, and it's a final join. And this is a ta joined with ta marbuta. Ta marbuta cannot be extended forward. You can see that's ta and that's and that's ta marbuta. Next is letter number four, which is tha. It again is the same shape as ba and ta, and now we have tha. Tha has three three letters, uh, three dots above. That's letter tha. Now pronunciation of this uh, letter is very important. Don't call it a sa. Is uh, the, the tongue trap and then you expel in the air very gently. That's letter th. 
differ. The join form is very similar to the way we join uh, ba and ta and now tha. Beginning, the middle, the end, and that's the final join. Now let's move to another set of um, a family of letters. The first, so there are three there, and this is jim. So it's, if you look at it, it's like a two upside down. So that's the shape. You start when you're writing the top first, and then that's capital C. And then you put your dot inside. That's a jim, letter jim. Now let's look at how it behaves in joint form. The joint form, at the beginning, when you are joining to another letter, you will see we have cut off the, the tail, which is below the line. It's now being cut off. That's Jim at the beginning. When you are writing Jim in the middle, you need to actually make a chair on which it's going to sit before you write it. You make this chair and then you write it on top of the chair. The same thing when you are writing Jim at the end, you make a chair for that Jim to sit on, then you write the Jim on top of it. And then you have this sample for you. Now, another one, the same family is letter H. This letter is the same shape as Jim, except there's no dot at all anywhere. And the sound of this is like a panting. It's a very uh, uh, hard H. You expelling the air. When you say this repeatedly, you will see that dryness in your throat. That is like a Muhammad, Ahmad. That is letter Ha. Alhamdu. Alhamdu. That's letter Ha. And join the same way as we join letter Jim. Cut off the, uh, the tails if you are joining them beginning, middle, at the end, you retain the, 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 the shape at the end. Number three in that family is the same shape and is letter H. It has a dot. It's like a clearing your throat. Uh, this one is and this one is and so it's joined the same way as Jim and Ha. So Ha beginning, Ha middle, and Ha the end. Right, so we, we've done that and now we're going to move to letter Del. Now, there are two in this family. Uh, most of the one coming now, there will be only two uh, within the family of the shape. That's Del, very simple. And it's one of the naughty letters which cannot be extended forward. Da, 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 simple D, da, del, del. That's the name of the letter. And you can see you cannot extend the letter del, just as we explained before with alif. So alif, del, del, ra, zain, and wow. They cannot be extended forward. So we have del, del. But if a letter is coming from here, that letter will join to it. And this is that at the end. Now let's do vel. This is vel. Now the way you pronounce it is the same shape as del. You have one dot there. The way you pronounce it is you have your tongue trap and forward. Th 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 and then you pronounce vel. Like that one. That. Vel. Th 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 velika. That one. Letter vel. Don't say zel. Is the the vel. The the vel. Again, it's a naughty letters cannot be extended forward like alif and dal. Now the vel. The vel beginning. You cannot extend it. If letters come in here, which is not a naughty letter, can be joined to it. And at the end, the 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 vel. Now we have now ra. This one is simple to pronounce the R, Ra. Ra is another naughty letter which cannot be extended forward. In the joining format, you cannot join it. And unless if a letter, a very good letter is coming from here, it can hook to it. So Ra, Ra, and Ra. Next is Zain. You can call it Z, 
or Zain. That's the name of the letter, Zain. Zain, simple like a Z in, in the sound. So Zain. Zain is the same shape as rod. You need to come below the line. And this is Z, it's a naughty letter as well. We've done Alif, Dal, Val, Ra, and then Zain. It's a naughty letter that cannot be extended forward. Zain. Za, za, za. Don't confuse this one with uh, with Val. This one is the 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 val and this one is z z z z z okay the next is now very simple to pronounce seen it's a smiling seen 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 then you hook the, and this is when you are joining it again it's very easy to join just keep going seen 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 extend always when you're joining a letter which can be joined after the formulation of the letter, you need to then have extension, then join to another letter. You can see, seen, this is an extension, readiness to join with another letter. In this case, it's seen as well. And then another extension to join the final seen. Seen, very simple, seen. Now, next, the shape is the same as seen, except we have three dots. So this one is shh, shh. This, uh, this, this one is and this one is shh, 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 sheen, 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 sheen. And just join the same way. Sheen, the beginning, extension, middle, extension, and the final. Now, here we have sword, right? We need to distinguish between sword and scene. This one is a smiling. Your, uh, your 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 mouth spread seen, but this one is like a whistling seen saw sword. This one is seen, and this one is sword sword seen sword. Now we have sword. When you are joining your sword, this little corner, that's the end of the letter itself. Then from that little corner, you extend it to join another one. You need that little corner there before you extend it. That's sword the beginning, sword. Again, this sword is better to, pro, uh, to prepare a chair on which is going to, the middle one is going to sit. Then you write it on top of it. And this is final sword. Scene sword sword and the next one which is this shape is the same shape as sword sword and this one is dod 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 your tongue is hitting the, the tip of your tongue is hitting the roof of your of your mouth dod and then you say it dod dod and you join the same way as sword beginning you put a chair on which you can write the middle and then another chair to write the final dod next next is po now at the beginning we have ta ta but this one is thicker is a to 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 ta at the beginning of the alphabet ta and to let me just show you the uh, the alphabet the, the the ta so we know that one you have here ta this is ta very light t ta 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 to that's a thick to ta if you put emphasis of this you get this one ta to ta to to so that that's the difference between the ta and to to is the same base as sword and dot, except there is no corner there. So you write the, sh the base first, extend it, write the second base, give it uh, a chair as well, and then the last one, then you go back to do the line top down. Line, don't start with to, uh, with the line when you're writing to. Just uh, do the base first, and then the line will come down to the, uh, uh, from top to down. That's your toe. Next one is 
zo, which is the same in the same family as ato. The shape is the same. Now this is uh, zo, zo, zo. Your tongue is rolling forward. Zo, zo, zo. Now let's compare that with. Let me just find the uh, the zel, the zel shapes, so you can see the difference between the um, the zel, which is this one. So this one is tongue is uh, flat, trap, and and forward. The the like the that zel zel zel. But this one, the tongue is rolling forward and it's not trapped really. Fleshly, the, 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 the. So we have the there. Now, uh, let's, this is, let's see, they join exactly the same as the to. You're at the beginning, you're at the line uh, up at, to, the, to the down, and then middle one. Make sure that you don't start with this line. You start, the, you finish the base, and then you write your line coming from top down. Yeah. Now, next letter is this is challenging letter for usually the English speaker people. So this is ein. It seems like a strangulation. Ein, 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 ein. But practice it you, you, you get there ah ah ein 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 and this is how you join the ein it's very important to note that when you are you write it like a c extend it when you're writing the ein in the middle make sure the head is slightly flat it's not round it's flat head you can close the eyes or sometimes if you leave it open it is okay but the ein it will be slightly flat on the head uh, and then you continue, do the same thing at the end, that's the flat, and I'll show you when I write it on board for you. And that says, ah, ah, ah. That's a very challenging sound. Ah, ay, ay, ay. Now, same shape as your ein, but you have one dot, and that is rain. You want to say ga, but you narrow it a little bit. Rain. Rain. So you have ein and rain, rain. So that's it. You join it exactly the way you join the ein, rain, rain. Now the rest are relatively very, very simple to pronounce. So the next letter is letter. So the spiral letter. That's a f, like f, 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 f. F, that's F, and you join it, it's a spiral, just write it round, extension, round, extension, and then find a form. F, F. Next, you will see we have the F here, it's slightly spread, but the, the Q, 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 like a coffee, Q, Q. It's coming from your throat here. Cough, 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 and it's joined similar to fa. So cough, cough, and cough. Just writing in one go, like a spiral, you know, hand movement. Cough. Now, uh, calf. Let's compare and contrast between cough and calf. The cough. Mouth is open and it's coming from the throat. Cough, and this is simply calf, calf, calf. Not coming from your throat. This one, this one is cough, 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 and calf, ka kalbun, kelbun, ka ka kalbun, heart, kelbun, dog. So ka, and this is ka. Now, joining of your calf, you start with the base first, 
and then you go back to do this line. Don't start with this line. Yeah, so calf, extend, calf, final one. You will see that we're losing this symbol at the beginning and the middle. The symbol has been compensated by this line here. So that's calf at the beginning, that's how it looks, and this calf in the middle, this is already lost this. But only when it's finer or standing alone that you retain this symbol. That's calf. Calf. Next is lamb. Lamb. That's a symbol, really. L. Lamb. When you're writing your lamb, you need to come below the line and then up again and stop once you reach the line. Back up. This is your lamb. You see? Good letter, just join and continue, and then the last one, the true shape of the letter. Meme is the one, next one. Meme. M -m Meme. Meme. Meme, when you when you stand alone, you need to write it starting from the head, you write clockwise. Clockwise, and then this is your last movement. So clockwise, and then last movement. Now, this is your meme in a joint form. When you are joining meme, the beginning, now write it anti-clockwise. You go this way, not this way. You go anti-clockwise, extend, then go up and reverse, close it up, and then continue to write the rest. I will show you when I write the, on, on the board for you. Now, next is letter noon. Noon. Noon known and the join form the joining is very similar to when you are writing your bar and ta and tha in a join form the same shape beginning at the end except you have a dot on top and dot on top there and this is your final known right this is letter ha ha we need to compare that with the beginning when we were talking about ha let me just find the letter ha for you so we need to compare and contrast with this one. This one, remember, I said this is a hard H. You're expelling the air. It's a panting. That's your But this one is a soft H. Is breathe in and then relieve. That is soft H. That's the letter H and it's a soft, soft H. And when you are joining it, it's quite challenging to join. Is you start like writing your DAL and then you close it up, extend it. It's like a, you, you know, when you are doing the knot in the middle. I will show you when I'm writing that. And this is your final H. It looks like time out of both, but it's not because it's, it's not carrying two dots. If you put two dots there, it becomes time or bottle, but it's not carrying two dots. That is final form of ha. Ha, when it's, uh, when it's you have a letter which can be extended, but if a letter is coming behind the ha, it cannot be extended, you, find, you write it like this. Now, two to go. Wow. Wow. That's letter wow. And so when it's final of the naughty six letters, Alif, Dal, Dal, Ra, Za, and Wow. They cannot be extended forward. And this is your Wow. Wow, Wow, Wow. Last letter. Ya. 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 It's only one with two dots below. That's a Ya. Again, look at the shape of when you are joining your but uh, the unknown at the beginning and the middle, except you have two dots here. The same shape, if you have one dot there, that will be known. If you have two dots there, it will be ta. If you have three dots, there will be tha. So we have two dots below is yeah. So the same shape at the beginning and the middle as well. So yeah, yeah, and that's your final yeah. That concludes the all the alphabets, the, the letters uh, in the Arabic. So, um, what you need to do is uh, use this flashcard to test yourself. And the, the, you, wouldn't, you don't know your letters until you can test yourself from this shape. To say, ah, what's this shape? 
And they say, ah, oh, that's yeah. So if you are teaching your child or your classroom, they know their letters only when they can tell it in a joint form. That's when they know that. Now that's first part of the um, of the, uh, the 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 first part of the uh, cards. This um, set. Now the second part is this. Then start again. Uh, start taking the alphabet again. This time with vowels. So you have all the vowels. You have e, u, a, uh, and then tenuin, Dublin and in on and the sukun and the long vowel e a u o and there also the diphthong the when you have sukun on a yeah how you pronounce it what's the sound it pro produces yeah yeah with sukun is an a sound when you have uh, um wow with uh, sukun on top of it is, it gives you an ow sound so a sukun on a yeah giving you a sound sukun on wow gives you ow sound all that is explained on the second part of this flashcard you can see it's all there and i went through letter by letter as well so the alif with all the vowels and the ba with all the vowels as explained you know you can see that in a e u and in on and the sukun and long vowel b bu ba bay bow and so on so then i take ta the same system ta ti tu ti ta tu tan ten tun ti ta tu tau tai so went through all the alphabet in, in in that manner again so it's very very comprehensive indeed so i urge you to uh, buy these from the website gatewaytoarabic.com. You'll find it a very, very useful tool indeed to not only to learn the name of the letters and also to see, uh, to use them with the vowels, with the A and E and U and An and In and On and E, U and A and I and O, all of it. So at the end of it, you know, it actually gives you a set of uh, words as well. I'm sure you. Just find the end of this, so and then we will we show you the um, you see. So after we went through that, then I start giving you word as well, such as this one. So if you have studied it's very carefully, you see a ka and then la, and, and and then join form a ka la. So and first of all, separate letters a ka la, and then you have a color join so to prove that you know your letters you have to be able to read this one in joint form a ka la you don't know your letters which you can just memorize it alif ba ta sa jim ha in order no it has to be yeah, and really randomly and with the vowel so a ka la uh, here for instance you have sha and ri and ba then in the joint you can see these naughty letters cannot be extended forward hence we are writing ba separately sha ri and then ba now we have fa ta ha that's separate again here you have fa ta ha to test that you have learned your letters and vowel uh, very thoroughly the sa ja and da and at the back it will be joint format sa ja da so and so on so it is a very very comprehensive uh, uh flashcard indeed i hope you you find it very useful and for those of you who want to really learn how to read and write easily i advise you to go on youtube and check one of my uh videos and that is called arabic from the beginning part one there are um 18 lessons there uh, be watched by millions of people so please go in there buy this book again from the gateway to arabic.com and follow the lessons it's a uh, very thoroughly explained at the end of which you will inshallah god willing you will be able to read and write your arabic very fluently indeed so good luck with that now let me now demonstrate how to write these alphabets for you on the board right let's go let's let's try it out so as i said alif so simply it's very easy thing to formulate just a simple line and your bar you are writing from right to left and that's bar and 
ta so we are writing the two dot ta two dot and fa three dot so you can see it's the same shape ba and ta and fa the same shape we distinguish between them using dots one dot below this family b ba and two dots above the same family the same shape it's ta t ta ta b b and three th three dot is th 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 now the other family which of three is jim you can see i'm starting from top and then writing the uh, capital c that's your jim with one dot there the same uh shape this is your ha so that's your ha with no dot and that's it ha 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 and last in the family is ha with one dot so this one is ha and this one is ha now the next in the alphabet we have alif ba ta fa jim ha and ha now next is del del is the shape simple and then you have one dot there and it's the 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 vel vel now followed by ra simple make sure that you write below the line that's why i put the line there for you to look to see the position of the letter in relation to line in your exercise book so ra same shape and one dot and that is zayim or za zayim uh, followed by uh, scene that's your scene look at the where at the scene and a little bit deep below the line and then back up again and then we have sheen that's your with three dots that shade the same shape as scene next is sword now look at where I write your sword you start clockwise and you continue now this after this little bit of corner then you have your details and then you do this that's your sword uh, as i said before look at the scene the pronunciation is a spread like a smiley scene whereas this one is sword sword now board is the same as sword in terms of shape and that is your dot there to make it board sword board Thor, this base is the same as this base but it has no corner and then you write your line down from top down Thor, that's your Thor and though the same shape you do the base first don't start with this line do the base and then go back and slightly put your dot and let's put your dot that's your to and the remember we were comparing and contrasting between this the the vel flat spread uh, tone the vel and this one is the 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 your tongue is slightly rolled forward the the right and the to compare this with ta ta is very flat and is nothing much ta simple t but this one is thicker to to ta to 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 and then uh, to lo ein small c capital c small c on the line and the capital c and the dot that's an ein and rain a a a a a ein rain ein rain now we're going to do let's do a little far far here so spread this a little bit that's your far 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 now let's do the cough cough this is deeper a little bit cough and it's coming from here through cough 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 let's compare that with calf 
So you remember, this is uh, you spread it and then you put small C with tails inside it, and that is calf. You have calf and calf. Ka, 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 ka. Now let's do lamb. That's lamb. Lamb comes below the line and then back up again. That's lamb. It's like a stick. That when you walk, the stick upside down. That's a lamb. Now let's do meme. Meme standing alone. Meme. You are doing clockwise. So you go this way for your meme. So good. That's your meme. Clockwise and then root down. Meme. Meme. Noon, that's a simple one. Noon. So make sure it's not the same height as the beginning of your noon. So that's slightly, you know, imbalanced there. So you have your, that's your noon. And it's slightly below the line. La, meme, noon. Ha! Uh, the one I show you is her this way. It is like a tamar bottle with no dots. That uh, you know, sort of, uh, but her at the beginning, the one you're familiar with will be like uh, this. It's like writing your del and then you continue your movement and you write this way. That's your ha, uh, ha, uh, the soft edge. Uh, uh, la mim nun ha, wow, it's simple. Just drop it like that. It's similar to the ra, but it has a head. Wow. It's similar exactly if you remove this head you will see the same shape as ra and za make sure you drop them and don't curve them back up so that they don't look like a dal or val so that's wow and so la mim no ha wow yeah is the last one that's your yeah and you put in your two dots below so here we are so we have uh alif Ba, ta, fa. Alif, ba, ta, fa. Jim, ha, kha. Alif, ba, ta, fa. Jim, ha, kha. Dal, vel. Dal, vel. Ra, zain. Ra za dal dal ra zain sin shin sod sod dod sod dod to do to do ain rain ain rain fa Fa, ain, rain, fa. Then we have calf, 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 calf. Lamb, mim, noon, ha, wow, yeah. Here we are. So you have all your letters been pronounced for you hopefully you go and practice this for me practice makes perfect well done ahsantum goodbye maasalama